Hello friends, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kayla and today I'm going to be styling outfits inspired by my fall 2024 Pinterest board. Hello friends, like I said, today I'm going to be styling some outfits inspired by those that are on my fall 2024 Pinterest board. Of course, they're not all going to be exact, they'll just sort of be similar in the spirit of, if you will. I plan to use a bunch of the items that I picked up in the last couple of thrift with me's. And then of course I already have plenty of things in my wardrobe and those will also be included too. The plan and hope is to show you guys just ways that you can use things you already have in your closet, things that are similar but maybe not exact to create outfits that have sort of the same spirit as some of these Pinterest outfits. Let's get into it. The first outfit I wanna to put together is this one here. So I'm gonna just like casually bring things out of the closet. <laughs> um, so this one's gonna be a little bit different. Instead of doing a turtleneck sweater, I'm gonna do an actual turtleneck. So this is what I'm thinking for this, this outfit here. So firstly, I thrifted this at the beginning of September, I think. It's just this brown plaid suspender skirt. There's no brand tag in it. Listen, it's like nice material in that it's like kind of a thicker material, but it also feels maybe fast fashion quality. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't know where it's from, but it's in great condition. So I was happy with that. I am going to pair it with this brown turtleneck. This is just a little, I think it's Calvin Klein? Yeah, Calvin Klein. This is a Calvin Klein turtleneck that I actually got at Ross Dress for Less, I believe. And so I'm going to pair this skirt with this turtleneck. And then I have these knitted tights. These are sweater tights. And I prefer them to just normal stockings or normal tights. So I'm gonna go with these. And then I think I wanna either go with a loafer or a brown boot. I'm actually with these. So let's start with this look. Okay, so here is the look. I like it, but there's something about it I don't like. And I don't know if it's like the sock situation and the shoes, the shape of the skirt. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I think if it was a slightly tighter skirt, you know, like one of those almost bodycon kind of like straight cut skirts, I might like it more. I just still think this is cute. Um, and on those cooler days, I think this really ties it in really well and it ties in the socks. And then there's also this similar sort of beigey color in the skirt and the plaid. I like it more with the jacket on. And I, yeah, I don't know, maybe with a blazer I would like this. Actually, I have a navy blue blazer and this skirt is navy and brown. Let me try the blazer on. I feel like that might do something here. Actually, with the blazer, I like it a lot more. I feel like because this is a long line blazer, it's elongating the silhouette, it's tying in the navy blue in the skirt, and it's adding a little bit more dimension to the top because of layering since obviously we're working with solid colors on top. And this is also something you could easily wear to work. This blazer is actually from H&M. I got it right before I started my corporate job because it was a business casual environment. And overall, I really like how this looks, particularly with the blazer. I think it's very cute. Okay, so this is my take on this look here. They are different, especially when it comes to like the way that the sweater is styled and the shoes, but this is definitely an outfit that I would wear. It's just like more of how I would probably wear this look. Boots. I got these at Payless 100,000 years ago. I don't even know if Payless exists anymore. These are just some faux leather brown boots. Then this dress here is from American Eagle also 100 years ago and it's actually like a pinafore dress and i catch on my stocking knit tights and then for the sweater i actually stole this out of my dad's closet <laughs> this dress has navy blue in the plaid i really like wearing navy blue in the fall and so i thought that this was a nice way to sort of tie that in now in the inspiration picture that sweater is most likely going to be worn sort of loose and sort of oversized more of that downtown girl style for my proportions i tend to go for a cropped sweater when i'm doing a sweater over a dress and that way you can sort of see my waistline a little bit more. I just like that figure that it creates a little bit more than just an oversized sweater. But an oversized sweater can also be just really cozy and really comfortable. So of course it's an option too. And then I kept all my accessories the same. And I feel like a tote bag, you can just throw a tote bag on and you are ready to go. This to me is just like a perfect chilling, hanging out with friends, going to get coffee kind of look. I can also see myself wearing this on a date or going out to eat with some friends or museum hopping, anything like that. So really, really 
like this one and I will be keeping a mental note to borrow the sweater from my dad. <laughs> Okay, up next I want to recreate this outfit. Now, I am switching out the sweater. So this is the Afric Eden sweater that is supposed to be like the fisherman sweater that Lori is wearing, which thank you, one of you guys told me that was called a fisherman sweater, so thank you so much for that. And I feel like I watched a Mina Lay video where she talked about it. Um, and if you want to learn more about knits and particularly fisherman knits, um, I will leave her video link down below. It was actually very interesting. It's like a full on history of fisherman knit sweaters so I found it very interesting um, but I'm gonna be going with this maroon sweater here I wanted to add a little bit more color to this look as opposed to doing just a black and white look which is very chic and classic but I really love this sweater it is also a bit more cropped so I think it's gonna work better for sort of the style I like then I have like this black sort of suede material skirt and this is a pencil skirt my denim jacket and then I am gonna be pairing it with these boots and um, some tights so let's try this one on next okay so this will take a little bit of a turn but i actually really love the final result so instead of going with the brown boots and the brown jacket because i really didn't like how the brown boots matched with the skirt here i went for my doc martens and then i was between my black leather jacket or my black leather vest and i was thinking when it comes to autumn it's not cold enough in autumn to wear a sweater and a leather jacket so realistically i would probably be wearing a vest instead so i just went with my leather vest this is actually a little bit of a DIY. It was a jacket and I cut the sleeves off. So Doc Martens, thrifted. These tights here, which are my favorite tights I've ever owned. They're from Spirit Halloween. This black pencil skirt, also thrifted, but I got it on Poshmark. This sweater is secondhand. It's from my older brother's girlfriend, Courtney. <laughs> And then this vest is from Target originally. I had it for a few years. It didn't really like the fit of the sleeves, so I cut them off and I turned it into a vest and I wear it all the time as a vest now. And so, yeah, I think this is really lovely. I really like how this one turned out. And then, of course, I kept my accessories the same. And then I threw my hair up in half up, half down because I felt like it would give a sort of messy, a little bit of volume to the look. I like it. I like how this one turned out. I think this is like really edgy. It fits with that autumnal vibe with the sort of warm red and the darker tones and I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello friends. It's a new day. Let's jump into more outfits. I think last we spoke I was wearing uh, a leather jacket. I like that outfit but it's still not really giving exactly what I was hoping it was going to give. And now that I've slept on it I feel like even though I loved that outfit it's not the look I was going for. So I do want to still try to recreate this outfit too. Okay, so my neighbor's getting his lawn mowed. We're gonna ignore it. This is the look. I feel like this one is pretty spot on for the inspiration. Like I said, the biggest difference is the actual sweater is just a different kind of knit, but I don't know, I like this. I like this look a lot. I think the boots, the less opaque tights, and then the solid black skirt is very very cute now obviously my leather jacket is not the same color as my boots and i feel like that would definitely tie it together in a stronger way but i'm still pretty happy with that i don't mind mixing shades of colors together so, and i also feel like because my bag is pretty much the same color as my boots it kind of ties the warmer redder brown tone up at the top so boots pay less these tights are actually from a sustainable brand called Swedish Stockings. I've had these, no joke, for almost five years. I bought them in 2020. The skirt, as I mentioned before, thrifted on Poshmark. The sweater is my mom's. There's no brand tag in the skirt, so I'm not 100% sure what the brand is. And then this leather jacket is just a faux leather jacket that I got at Target a couple years back. And then this is a vintage Anne Klein little clutch that I thrifted at Goodwill. My earrings are just these mica powder polymer clay leaf earrings on gold filled hoops and these are from my store Adventure Soul Co. And then my necklace is from a brand called Layers that I picked up at a boutique. You guys have probably seen it before. It has like an adjustable string in the back and this is this look. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's quite cute. This is the next fit. This one kind of feels a little bit more downtown girl-esque. I kept the accessories the same, same earrings, same necklace, 
But then for all the pieces, I threw on my docks. These I thrifted at Uptown Cheapskate. It's a local thrift store I talk about all the time if you're new here. The jeans are from Target. I think these ones are my Universal Threads one, which are like the 90s high rise wide leg jeans. And then this is a sweater I thrifted from Goodwill. It's not quite as oversized as I would like. It's got like a looser fit, but short arms, which is such a funny fit to me, which is totally fine. So yeah, it's like a looser fit, but not really like hugely oversized. I feel like if I were trying to fully recreate this outfit, I'd want to go with one that was like even bigger than this one. But I still feel like that sort of loose fit works really well for that casual sort of downtown girl look. And of course it has these stripes, a sort of almost fair aisle print on it. Then I did throw on my little New York tote bag. This is from Etsy. It was a gift. It's just a New Yorker tote bag in the fall. And here is this look. I also feel like the hair is a huge accessory and I've been playing around with my bangs a lot, sort of curling them, making them a little messier, flipping them out like Farrah Fawcett. These are obviously not quite as feathered as hers, but you know, just kind of playing around with different styles with them, trying to figure out what way I like to wear them the most. I'm definitely gonna grow them out. I don't think I'm gonna keep them, but as I grow them out, I'm gonna just like grow them into curtain bangs and I think I'm just going to like that a little bit more for the management of it all. I am realizing I am a very low maintenance hair gal and straight across the front fringe, not low maintenance. <laughs> Okay, I unexpectedly really like this one. I was expecting to, I don't know, not really jive with the longer line of the sweater. I'm so used to tucking my shirts and sweaters in. I feel so cute and Halloween-y in this outfit. It's just, I feel like this one's pretty similar to the inspiration picture too. Again, the sweaters are not quite as oversized. I don't tend to wear sweaters that are as oversized as a lot of the sort of downtown girl sweaters. I got this last year at Maurice's and it is just one of my favorite sweaters to wear this time of year. It is incredibly soft. It's also on the thicker side, so it works great for cooler days. This skirt is originally from Loft, but I thrifted it at Goodwill, I believe. Then tights, again, Swedish stockings, docks, thrifted. Always, always, always recommend thrifting docks if you can. To get them pre-broken in is simply life-changing. <laughs> Kept my accessories the same. Earrings are from my brand, of course, though I did think about putting on some of my ghost earrings. Um, and then I just, again, like I said, threw a little ribbon in the hair. And here it is. I love it. I think it's really cute. So this is the last outfit I'm gonna recreate, but I also wanted to point out a couple of outfits that I really like, but just don't have pieces for. So this one here I think is gorgeous. Honestly, I like the specific pieces that they used. So this green and orange striped top and then the sort of slip satin dress over top of it. Then that same satin dress with like a graphic band tee underneath it I think is really really cute too. This outfit here I love and adore. I unfortunately don't have pieces that would work for this but it makes me think I want to get a better fitting black dress. Right now I have long black dresses, sweater dresses that are black, and then I have a couple with like bold patterns and then one that is just like slinky loose sort of shift dress. I don't have a shorter black dress that is like closer fitted or like tailor fitted and that is definitely something i want to add to my thrift list or my shopping list another thing is a red leather jacket i've been wanting one of these for a while now so definitely things i would like to add to my wardrobe in the future not things that i currently have i have a top that i feel like could work for this totally different style it's more of like a piratey vibe but that feels authentic to my style currently whereas i love a good peter pan collar don't get me wrong super cutesy super cottage core just not really the style i'm going for these days i feel like a piratey sort of top my mom also said it kind of felt a little bit 70s-esque would work better for my specific style. So now that I have that out of the way, here's the final outfit. Okay, so admittedly, this one is more of a mixture of a couple of outfits, but I still really like it. I tend to forget that I own these boots, but after today, I am fully embracing them. They are 
fully a part of the sort of basic girl autumn capsule wardrobe and simply put I am a basic autumn girl so I am gonna be wearing these quite often to be honest <laughs> So anyway, boots pay less. Skirt I thrifted. I think at Goodwill there's no brand tag in it, but I do really love it. To be honest, for when I first bought it, I thought it was brown. I've been told it's black. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. So anyway, this skirt is either black and tan polka dots or brown and tan polka dots. Either way, I really love it. It's got that very flouncy, flirty kind of 90s rom-com look to it that I really like. Then I have this oversized knit sweater. I've actually seen a bunch of these on Poshmark, but I picked this one up at Goodwill. It is from Croft and Barrow, which I think they sell at Kohl's. So if you wanted to see if you can find it new or find a similar sweater new, you could look at Kohl's, but this is just a sort of fisherman's knit, cable knit sweater. Got this, like I said, at Goodwill. I switched my earrings out for these little Celtic knot ones I picked up at the Irish Festival a couple years back here in the city. I have my necklace the same and just threw my hair up in like a half a half down messy bun situation. And here is this look. Alright my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun in them. This is honestly so good for me to just play a little bit of dress up. And I will be staying in that last outfit for the remainder of the day. I honestly really, really love it. I'd love to know what you guys are planning on wearing this fall as we are fully in the autumn now. I also want to encourage you guys to check out last week's video where I created a Padme costume using some thrift finds and a little bit more as well. That was a sponsored video and so it would mean so much to me if you would check it out, show some love. Speaking of Halloween, Goodwill Central and Coastal Virginia sent me a gift card and I still have quite a bit left on it. So I asked you guys if you'd be interested in me thrifting some Halloween costumes for you guys and overwhelmingly you guys said yes. So down below in the description box there is a form i'm also going to post it on the community tab and if you want me to thrift a halloween costume for you fill out the form i'll be picking a couple of people to do this for you'll find instructions on the form about inspiration pictures the number of ideas you should submit measurements and sizes this is going to be open to the us only um specifically because of the timeline halloween is only a few weeks away and so there really isn't the time to ship things internationally so maybe in the future if i decide to do this again i can think about doing this further in advance this was kind of a last minute idea now with all that in mind don't forget to subscribe down below it's totally free and all you know is when i upload new videos i create fashion related content everything from thrifting with me to styling videos to aesthetic explorations and more you can also follow me on the rest of social medias i'm basically on everything <laughs> but i'm most active on tiktok pinterest and instagram i think that's really all i have for you guys now so don't forget it costs absolutely nothing to be kind so be kind to yourself and others and I will see you guys next time. Bye.